Anything potentially illegal going on here? Well, I think the question is, how was this contract uh, drawn up or, you know, how was it manipulated? And that's what we don't know. The Asbury Park Press, which is the, the daily uh, in my district down at the Jersey Shore, basically did this investigation and they compared the contracts between the two bids and they basically said that the, the lower bid was not willing to put Christie in the ad and that was the one that was 2.5 million. And then when uh, the higher bid at the 4.7, that firm said that they would put him and his family in the ad, they were chosen. So, I mean, the question is, what, you know, how was that process going about? And you think that for political reasons, in part, because he was up for re-election? I mean, I think that's, that's clearly my concern. I mean, you keep in mind, as I think you pointed out, or Chris pointed out, that Christie's whole campaign was that he saved the shore. And so if you look at those uh, tourism ads that were basically saying that versus his campaign ads, there really wasn't that much of a difference. But a lot of people in New Jersey think he did do a good job after the Superstorm Sandy, right? Well, I don't think that's the issue. I mean, look, we all worked hard to try to restore the shore, and there's still a lot more to be done. But keep in mind that this was a block grant. This money could have been used for, you know, Sandy relief for homeowners, for businesses, and we're still not getting that money. A lot of that money has still not come through. So some people have said, well, $2 million. Well, $2 million is a lot of money, and I'm concerned about it. And I think the fact that the inspector general has now said they're going to conduct a full-scale investigation is significant. Let them see what they come up with. The ad agency that created this ad issued a statement just a little while ago. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. MWW's proposal, that's the ad agency, included no mention or suggestion of using the governor in the paid advertising campaign. The decision to include the governor was arrived at after the contract was awarded based on timing, availability, and federal expenditure rules. Assertions to the contrary are simply incorrect. Now, what's your response to that? Well, I think that's rather significant. In other words, if they initially did not uh, suggest that the governor was going to be in the ads, what happened in that period of time when they met with the governor's staff and the other people that chose the contract. You know, there was, one of the things that was in the Asbury Park Press was the statement that some of his advisors perhaps were insisting that he be in the ad. So, I mean, again, I, the, the question is that needs to be investigated is to what extent was that the case? But what's wrong with a governor appearing in an ad like this saying, we beat back Sandy, it's time to come back, visit the Jersey Shore, spend money here, let's help our economy? Well, again, I think it goes back, let me make a comparison. In the case of New York, there was a similar ad campaign that did not use Governor Cuomo. They used Billy Joel and other celebrities, okay? Uh, in the case of, uh, of New Jersey, the governor opted to do that, and we don't know exactly how that came about. But the fact of the matter is that he was running for re-election, and his re-election was very much linked to his success in Sandy. And so these ads were, you know, basically adding another $20 million to promote him very close to the election. 